It is estimated by Psychology Today that 85% of people, adults, and adolescents worldwide lack the necessary self-confidence and belief in themselves to succeed. Success and Mindset Coach Sandy Rutherford has made it her personal mission to help others cultivate success by shifting their mindset because according to Rutherford, success is all about realigning your programming and eliminating your self-limiting beliefs. And lucky for the rest of us, Rutherford has now decided to put pen to paper and publish her first book, Navigating the High Seas to Success is an eight-step chartered course to extraordinary achievement. The book is scheduled to be released next Tuesday, October the 25th. But lucky for all of us, Rutherford found some time in her schedule to join me this week to give me a sneak peek of the book and how she hopes the readers who consume the content of the book navigate through their lives to achieve prosperity and live the life they intended and have a desire to live. I'm Kevin McShan. Let's have this conversation. Awesome, I'm ready to go. Absolutely, and I know that your book, Navigating uh, the High Seas of Success, is all about um, helping people sort of with the eight principles that you put together for success. So I'm wondering if you can tell me all about the great book that you've written. Absolutely. So yes, it's called Navigating the High Seas to Success, and it's an eight-step charted course to extraordinary achievement. It's available on Amazon starting next Tuesday, October the 25th, all the different Amazons uh, internationally. So that's our book launch day. And it is a book that I'm very passionate about because I have been years and years in personal development. For the last six years, I was trained and mentored and worked with Bob Proctor. And you know, in all of my, and, and pre previous to working with Bob, I did a lot of personal development. And there's so, you know, Kevin, there's so much great personal development material, world-class stuff out there. But it's spread around the world, scattered in, in, in terms of so many different experts, past and present, books, seminars, webinars. And it took me years to land on what I consider to be the really key life-changing concepts. And so when I started to realize that, given that you know the personal development industry can be really overwhelming with all the material out there and it can be frustrating when you get into it and you get inspired by it and motivated and think oh yeah it makes so much sense and you're still not seeing really big massive changes in your results then when i started to realize that there's certain concepts that must be addressed and and there's actually an order to them i wanted to bring them all in one place and Funnily enough, they all happen to start with the letter C. So when I say navigating the high seas, it's not S-E-A as in ocean, it's high capital C, Navi navigating the high capital C's to success. And so it's it's eight different chapters that are that are you know in order, taking the reader through in order. I'm, I'm so excited for the readers to experience and feel 
there's going to be a lot of emotional stuff going on in the wonderful, positive, uplifting stuff going on as they feel how success can unfold for them as they move through these different chapters that are unfolding in order. And, you know, the fun thing is, Kevin, each chapter has inspirational quotes, many of which you will know, uh, some of which you won't, but many uh, inspirational quotes relevant to the particular concept of the chapter. Plus at the end, there's a, there's a couple of examples of who, who's doing, who's, who is practicing that concept. And it might be some clients of mine, it might be some celebrities. At, it, at the end of each chapter is also a, uh, um, a quick assessment, not a scientific assessment, just a quick assessment to help you gauge where you are relative to that concept. And then there's an exercise for you to do. So it's really, you know, getting people to really understand and internalize what this material, what this concept is all about, and then start to apply it right away. And you know what? It's fun. There's a lot of fun stuff going on in the book, and I hope people are going to be blown away. I think they will be. Yeah, absolutely. And that is more than I've known if your real name is Fung, so I wouldn't expect any, anything less coming from you, right? Absolutely. You know what? We only have a certain amount of time on this earth. We might as well have fun. We might as well do things together, raise each other up. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you said the book is a direct line of your vision of creating a more joyful and fulfilling world for each other to live in. So I'm wondering, uh, talk to me about the process of writing the book and what you about yourself as well. Well, the process with writing a book, I actually got the got the idea about three years ago, and and signed up to do a, a book writing course program, a really a, a top notch one with Peggy McCall, uh, and then <laughs> life happened. In fact, the the uh, I had the opportunity to be on stage with Bob Proctor right after I would actually signed up for the course and that whole that whole event took a lot of time and energy and then what followed after anyway so I didn't get to it till this past January so January 22 I kind of finally went ah I've got to get back into this book I have so much in me that I want to say and share to make an impact and then it you know what Kevin it just flowed once you make the decision I've got to get what, what I'm passionate about out on paper It'll just flow out of you if you're passionate about it. And that's what I found. And, and, and the more I wrote, the more was coming out of me. So it was quite a, it was quite a, you know, a flow. Uh, 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 what, what, what's a better word for that? Water gushes. It was gushing <laughs> when, I, when I was trying to get these concepts down on paper. Uh, and then, you know, it took, me, it took me about four months to get it all in order. And then I started the process of how do I bring this book to market? So that's what we've been doing, and we're ready to uh, to launch next Tuesday, as I said. Yeah, absolutely. And I said, I'm curious to ask you again, what does it mean to you to live a more joyful life? What do I think you do uh, need to do to live a more joyful life? What does it mean to you to live a joyful life? Yeah. Uh, I think living a more joyful life, you need to you need to be you. You need to give yourself permission to be who and what you are. And as you allow yourself to do that and, and start to uncover who am I, like you used to hear Bob Proctor say, if I want to be free, I got to be me. So I got to know who me is. If you want to live a more joyful life, that's where it starts. And then as you allow yourself to bring more and more of you to the table, it's very uplifting. Being, being true to yourself is very uplifting. When we're trying to be somebody else that we're not, it can really drag us down. It lowers our vibration. So when you are being true to yourself, you are raising your vibe and then being able to live more fully, more, uh, more joyfully, is then allowing yourself to become what you want to become, celebrate all that you are and all that you are becoming, all the all the potential and the talents and the giftedness, which is unlimited in, in you. Be in gratitude. You know, all of these things, Kevin, raise our vibe. How do you live, you know what, in, in a very short answer, how do you live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Raise your vibe. Raise your vibe up to where dream goals are. And how do you do that? I'm, uh, you know, some of the things I'm mentioning now will help you raise your vibe. Getting clear on what you really want. Tapping into more and more of your potential, being in gratitude, celebrating all that you are and all that you are becoming. 
There's so much we can do to raise our vibe. And as we're, you know, if, if when I say vibe, you know, how, when we're in states of um, excitement, joyfulness, exuberation, how productive do we feel? Really productive, right? Compared to when we're in a state of frustration, discouragement, you know, we're, we're uh, not, not, not feeling, not, you know, unhappy then we don't feel nearly as productive. So when you're not feeling productive, it's hard to live a fulfilling, productive, rewarding life. So long, that's a long story short. You know, those are the ways we've got, so, you know what, we've got so much in us, Kevin, every single one of us, I don't care who you are, where you've been, where you've come from, gender, age, ethnicity, experience, nothing matters. It all comes down to we all, every single one of us has phenomenal, potential and talents and gifts. And as we open up more of those gifts and bring more of those to the surface, doing what we love to do and how we can help others, that's how you will raise your vibe, live a much more fulfilling life. Yeah, absolutely. And sadly, as long as I've known you, you've always told, told me that we all have uh, the, the, the tools in life to be successful and it all starts with a shifted mindset. So I'm wondering if we can dive into that this morning. Absolutely. Our mindset is what stops all of us. We are we are limited by our mindset. And when, and when we say mindset, we mean our programming, our subconscious programming, our subconscious conditioning, our paradigms, comfort zone, it's all the same thing. That's referring to our mindset. And the biggest piece of our mindset is our self-image. Our self-image our mindset sets our boundaries. We can only go as far as that programming, again, the biggest part is your self-image, allows us to do. You know what, the mind is like very much like a computer. A computer can only do what it's programmed to do. You can only do what your mind is programmed to do. And research shows that between 96 and 98% of the time, we're operating from our programming. So if I can't go, as, I, if I can't go any farther than my programming, then if I want to go farther, I have to change my programming. So just like a computer, upload new programming, you can do different, new and different things. So if I upload new programming to create a new mindset, I can do new and different things, create new and different results. And so the important message kind of hidden in there, Kevin, is that we don't lack the talent or the capability to create bigger, better successes. We don't. We're all, it's science and theology, the two sources, the only two sources you can go to. Both agree we're all, we, we're all, you know, barely scratching the surface of who and what we're all about. So we don't lack the talent. It's that mindset or that programming. And once you shift programming to get it into alignment with what you're trying to create in terms of next level successes, boom. Bob's your uncle, I like to say, because I work with Bob Proctor. <laughs> Bob's your yeah. uncle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And tell me, uh, I know that you were a very uh, close to Bob Proctor, so tell me, what sort of an in, impact did he have on your life? Oh, my goodness. He had a profound impact because he opened up. You know, I like to say, when you do this work, when you work with me, when, you, when, when I was working with Bob, it is eye-opening, it's mind-opening, and it's heart-opening. And that is what Bob started my journey on this. In fact, my book is dedicated to Bob. And because, because of what he opened up for me, he had a profound impact. And anyone who is well-versed and passionate about this material, like Bob, like Tony Robbins, like Mary Morrissey, like Joe Dispenza, like John Asraf, there's so many great experts, and like me, in that I am very passionate and well-versed in this material, it does open the eyes to, oh, there's a new way of looking at things. There's a new way of thinking about things that creates new feelings. That's heart opening, right? And so it's, it's mind opening. It's a phenomenal journey. And Bob started me on that journey. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I had the opportunity to be on stage with him. That was one of my early goals. I mean, the first thing that Bob will, will say to you, what do you really want? You've got to set it an uh, 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 outside the comfort zone goal. So he said, what do you really want? Um, and Bob would always ask you that. And we teach people that too. You got to start there. All success begins with desire. So what is it you really, you really, really want? And my early goal when I first started with Bob is I want to be on stage with Bob Proctor because I used to do a lot of 
um, presentations and speaking engagements before I got into this business. And so I, that was my goal. But that you know what, Kevin? Here's the funny thing. Our self-image can, can start the back talk, right? That negative talk. Because my self-image immediately said to me, oh, who am I? <laughs> who am I to think I'm going to be on stage with Bob Proctor when tons of people around the world, including the Proctor Gallagher consultants, of which I was, you know, one of uh, over a thousand. We all want to be on stage. Like, who am I to think... And that's that negative. We all have that negative self-image that, that throws doubt into some neat aspiring goals that we have. But you know what? I held on to that goal because that's what we do. I had to be a product of the product. I held on to that goal and it came true. It came to pass two and a half years after I set that goal on stage with Bob Proctor at a big event that we were teaching and, 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 and on stage together. And what a thrill that was. So long story into your question, he's had a profound impact on my life, which is allowing me to have a profound impact on other people's lives. It's all about service. Yeah. It's all about service. Betting it forward is always important, isn't it? Absolutely it is. And tell me, tell me, I'm curious. To ask you, what do you think you would, would think about the book that you've written? And is, is there any one particular lesson that Bob taught, taught you that you'll carry forward with the rest of your life? Um, you know what? I would go back to if I got to be if I want to be free to create to to achieve, I got to be me, and that's probably one of the biggest lessons. Is you got to go inside first to change the outside results. You've got to go inside. And you know what? The, the first chapter, so, so the, the, you know, the book is about what I've called the high C's. So let me, actually, let me just run through what, what each of the high, high C's. There's eight high C's, okay? Connection, creation, clarity of desire, conditioning, and that's your programming, uh, commitment, consistency, collaboration, and celebration. So those chapters each speak to a very, very important concept that if you address them, you will feel, you will feel phenomenal change, a dramatic change is going on. So the first chapter is on connection. And that's, that's probably what, you know, in terms of what you just asked about, you know, what are, what's one of the big lessons that, that I learned from Bob and I, that's in, within the first chapter of the book, you must go inside to create different results on the outside, right? Bob used to say, the problem and the solution are within you. You are the only problem, he would say, and you are the only solution. And so that's, the book starts off talking about connection. How do I go inside? If it's, if it's, if the problem is in me and the solution's in me, how do I go in me <laughs> to find, to find that, to discover that, explore that? Yeah, absolutely, and Sandy, I know that you're all about helping your clients find their aha moments. So tell me, what does it mean to you when a, a client comes to you and goes on this journey and finally discovers their aha moment? What does it mean to you personally? Um, it, it creates a profound sense of gratitude, of awe, of inspiration when I see clients grasp this material, roll their sleeves up with me, internalize this material and start to see the shifting and their eyes and hearts and minds are starting to open and they're starting to accelerate and see newer results. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost a sacred moment because what you see in people, and I'm, I'm only the vessel, I'm a, I'm a conduit helping people, right? It's, the, it's people that amaze and inspire me. My clients amaze and inspire me. Because they roll up their sleeves and are willing to be, uh, you know, to, to explore, to open up about themselves, to be held accountable, to step outside their comfort zone. So it, it is such a privilege to work with people who are willing to do that because they happen to prioritize, and I teach this all the time, your success matters. Every one of us, your success matters to your audience, every single one of your audience members, your success matters on every level of your well-being, spiritual, intellectual, emotional, physical. So when I see my clients embracing the fact that yes, my success matters and doing the work to start internalizing these concepts and it's when you internalize, that's, that's when you get the shift. Too many of us in personal development stay intellectually enamored with this material. 
Like we, we intellectually, we go, oh, yeah, oh, absolutely, really makes sense. Oh, I'm going to start changing. I'm going to start doing. Th so we get intellectually enamored, but it's that's not where the change happens. That's not where big results come from. When you internalize the material, which is to get emotionally engaged, so it's it's resonating in different inner emotional states, that's when shifts happen, and that's when new, bigger results happen. And that's when I see my clients doing that. Again, you know, it's a privilege, and it's awe-inspiring to me to watch people do that, living up to all that they're capable of being, and more. Yeah, you know, one of the lessons that you've, uh, top me since we've known each other is the importance of sort of taking ownership of your own journey. So tell me, what does it mean to you to, you to tell uh, your clients and other people to take ownership of their own lives? What does that look like to you? That's a great question. It's a very important question because, again, if you want to, if you want to change your results, then you've got to work on you which means you do have to prioritize your success, which means you do have to admit that our, I, I own this, like, too, like I own my life. Another, another um, thing Bob Proctor used to say is you are the mental architect of your own destiny. So if you want to create something different from what you're experiencing, you've got to do it. You've got to rely on you. Again, it all begins and ends with you. The problem and the solution are within you. And so that's taking ownership. And so often in life, we blame the outside world or may, blame might be too strong a word. In some cases we might blame, but we may allow the outside world to be in the driver's seat, which is not taking control. That's sitting in the passenger seat or worse in the back seat. So and what, do, what do I mean? You know, what can, t what can be in the driver's seat outside of us? The economy. Oh, the economy's awful, so I can't do da da da. Uh, my spouse, my parents, my ch because my children don't, I can't do the uh, my boss, my upline, my downline, my friends, the weather, <laughs> the season. All these excuses. We are giving power over to something on the external world. When and, and, and if you're doing that, which is the majority of people are actually doing that, then you're not taking control. You're not owning your own destiny. So owning your own destiny is deciding, okay, my success does matter. I'm putting myself in the driver's seat. I will make decisions based on what I want. And you know what? I'm saying a lot of I, which to some people might sound really selfish, really egotistical. But if I work on me and bring myself up to be more and more of who and what I am, and it can help more and more people, I'm doing the world a service. Right? God wants us to be the best of who we are so that we can contribute to more and more in this world. So it really is important that you do step into the spotlight, take center stage. I'm using these terms because my new brand, new company name and all the branding is Inspired Destinies, step into the spotlight. So you really do need to step into the spotlight and take center stage. You own your destiny. You yeah. have your hand to the wheel. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and Saturday, that leads nicely into my next question about prosperity and working on yourself. Do you think working on yourself is the fastest way to achieve a prosperity? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because if you're, if you're not experiencing prosperity, and however that's defined for you, because it's different to each of us, if you're not experiencing it, then it's the problem and the solution are within you. So absolutely, personal development, that you know, the, the elite level or the world-class personal development that's out there, absolutely, that is the quickest way to accelerate your success, to create the prosperity you're looking to create. Now, the proviso I would put on that, though, is actually, again, why I, why I decided to write this book, because there's so much stuff out there you know, where do you start and, and, and sh what we call shelf help, like just buying the books, hopping on the webinars or seminars, isn't good enough. If it were, we'd all buy the books and do the seminars and all be succeeding at much higher levels. So what's, what the big message that I have found in my journey and my clients' journeys through this life-changing material is that we need way more support, guidance, and accountability than we think we do. 
Because, you know why, Kevin? Because that old programming, it has a really good hold on us. That's our comfort zone. We may sort of try to get outside of it and then shoop, we go right back into our comfort zones. So you do need the material and laid out in, in the right way, which my book does, Navigating the High Seas to Success, lays out step by step in order. But not only do you need the material, but you also want to seek out the support, guidance, and accountability to really help you internalize and apply this material and change your life. According to Rutherford, success and building self-confidence are interconnected. And she took some time out to explain why. Uh, accountability and building self-confidence, they are linked. You, you, can, you know what? You, consider, you can consider accountability to be your success insurance policy. When you are held accountable, when, and you know what? And being in the right environment, support guidance and accountability in, an, in the right environment of people who call you out, people who love you, who are excited for your goals, who are, are um, you know, going after big outside the comfort zone goals as well. When we get called out by our with by like-minded people in this kind of environment, uh, it, uh, it we don't go down that rabbit hole of going back into our comfort zone. So we stay up higher. We stay more in tune with our goal. We start to see even little successes more quickly. And what does that do to, for confidence? I'm starting to see some successes. My confidence goes up. I have people that are supporting me going, yes, Kevin, yes, you can. Yes, of course you can. No, no, don't go back there. Kevin, you can't go back. No, you, you said you wanted to do this, Kevin. You're going to do it. Come on, we're behind you. That raises my confidence as well. And as my confidence goes up, I start to see more results. As I start to see more results, my confidence is going up. So accountability is linked absolutely with self-confidence. Yeah, absolutely. And as sadly as you know, uh, for me, Helping individuals with disabilities find and maintain employment is super important for me, both personally and professionally. And October is actually a National Disability Employment Awareness Month. And I think your, awesome. your book, yeah, yeah, it actually is. And I think your book will be a great inspiration for uh, folks with disabilities who can uh, for work. So tell uh, you know what? I love that question because my my book is for anyone. Again, it doesn't matter who you're, who you are, where you're at, what you're doing. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're disabled or able-bodied. It is a book, it, you know, success works the same for every single one of us, no matter what your circumstances are. And so, you know, if you want to become, if you want to take more control, if you are a disabled individual and feel disadvantaged in any way, but want to, want to get out of that mindset, because that's a negative mindset, right? You want to get out of that mindset and start being in control of your own destiny, creating more successes for yourself then my book will, will apply to you the way it applies to anyone else. All the key concepts are the same. Success works the exact same, no matter who you are or where you're at. So really, what, what that'll help people do uh, for in disability, for this disability month, which is, I just love the focus on that. And by the way, you know, disability, I'd rather say advantage ability, not disability. Right? What advantage can you create with your abilities, given who and what you are? Right? Um, that's just kind of a, an aside, uh, but I love the focus on this. And um, what you can do as, as an individual is start understanding that you need to think differently about your capabilities, your abilities and capabilities. You too are sitting on a gold mine of talent and giftedness. And I, I bring that out in the book. So you will see in the book how this absolutely applies to you. But if you, as a disabled individual, if you can really embrace it, you know what? If I start to think differently that my success matters no matter my abilities, that you can find the good in the situation and create and leverage a lot of ability and, and talent out of where I'm at, that you can celebrate the possibilities that exist going forward for you that's all in the book and that's what i would encourage everyone during this beautiful month to 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 um embrace yeah absolutely it's 
My final question for you this morning is, what sort of conversation or discussion do, do you hope that your book sort of gener generates when people read it? Uh, I want I, I want people to realize when they read the book, I want people to to to, to go to get to a, an aha that I do have what it takes. I have what it takes for massive success. There is an easier path forward. There is an actual step by step to go forward. And so conversations, I'd love conversations to start about. Oh, you know what? I was thinking pretty small here. What if I think a lot bigger? What if I go for more, for bigger, for better? I would love to see those conversations because we limit our thinking because our programming, our self-image is limiting. But when you start to work on this and the book will show you, show you some of this, how to get outside that programming to think bigger, you will have very different conversations. You know what? I was only going after, you know, a small goal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quadruple that goal I just said because I'm getting I'm, from this book I'm getting that I'm capable and there's a way forward an easier path to accelerate my success those are the conversations I would love to see happen yeah absolutely and tell me finally Saturday if people want to get connected with you or buy the book what's the best way they can do that the, again, the book is available on Amazon on uh, Tuesday, October 25th, so next Tuesday. And actually, if you go to my website, inspireddestinies.com, inspireddestinies.com, uh, right on the home page, you can click more about the book launch. And we're having an online book, book launch party uh, next Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. And we have four phenomenal speakers, each of whom internationally renowned people that are speaking to some of these high C concepts. And they are also giving away, we have a gift giveaway, a gift basket giveaway, uh, uh, totaling over $1,500 US. And so that you can sign up for that and, and you'll get all the information for the book, uh, when to buy it on, on, on Tuesday and together we can do this. And, and you know what? I hope we all do this together on Tuesday and make this a bestseller. Sandy, I have to tell you, it's always great to be with you, and I was delighted to be with you today to help you deliver this important message. And I hope, through your book, people will develop the necessary strength, resiliency, and perseverance to live the life they want to live. I wish you the very best of luck with the book, and I thank you for joining me today. Kevin, thank you so much. You are so wonderful. I love what you do, and I feel very privileged to have had a conversation with you today. Thank you.